Hey guys, so I'm deciding to do a tutorial on how to play Fortnite on iOS again. So this is Fortnite iOS. It's a lot clearer than you think. It's just blurry right now. Um, I did a tutorial about this back in Season 6. But here's an updated tutorial, because back then I only knew how to do it on if you had an Xbox. Now I know how to do it if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation. Okay, so first off, you need to go to the App Store. This is for the PlayStation way first. So you do need a PlayStation 4, PS4 Pro, or a PS5. I, any three of those would work. Um, you also do need a PlayStation controller to connect to your, to your, connect your iPhone or iPad. So here's how you do it. So you search up PS Remote Play. Now, since I don't have a PlayStation, I will not install it. But basically, you just gotta install Fortnite on your PlayStation, download this app, and you can play f pretty much any of your games on your pl on your phone from your PlayStation. Like I said, it works for PlayStation 4 and 5, as you see, PS4, PS5, but it works on iPad and iPhone. Um, you can use a DualShock controller or DualSense, um, or... If you don't even have a controller, you can just use the buttons on the screen. So, not even buttons are really needed on here. So, if you are for if you have an Xbox, search up Xbox app. Should be the first thing that comes up. Download this. And you can remote play on here. Um, it works on Series X and 1 and Series S. It does not work on 360 or, or original. Um, so, I mean, that's good, because that's what Fortnite supported on, just the 1 and, and the Series X and the S. So, once that's installed, or the PlayStation 1, open it up. I'm just gonna... As you can see, it brings you to this menu. Well, it might ask you to sign in, but this is what it comes to. So, on your Xbox, it will say to sign, to, like... Enable remote features, and I think it'll do the same thing for PlayStation. It'll be in your settings. So, once that's turned on, you can just watch my old video on how to how to put, turn it on, which will be linked at the card on the top. So, once that's installed, just go here, press this button on the top right next to the bell. Hit remote play on this device. Hit continue. So yes, as you can see, it'll just have this thing in the way. So how do you fix this? Well, you go to your settings. Go to Bluetooth. Hold down this Xbox button on the top or the PlayStation button. And then press and hold the connect button, which on the on the Xbox it's on the top, and on the PlayStation I think it's also on the top. Cool. So once you're done that, go to the back to the Xbox app. And then press on Fortnite if you have it. Now, if you don't have it, I recommend you, like, install it on your Xbox. Or, I'll show you a way you can do it on the Xbox app. So, you go up over here. Hit game. Go, no, go to the search button. Search Fortnite. And then it'll say install on console. And yeah, that's... So that's how you get Fortnite on console. Now, here's some things you can do. 
once you have it installed on your iPad or iPhone. It also works on Android, I'll tell you that. So, you can play Save the World on here, which is pretty cool, because on Fortnite, on Fortnite Mobile originally, you were only able to play Battle Royale, Creative, and Playground. Which you on here you play every mode except tutorial mode, which is only available on on mobile. And yeah, you play any mode you want. So I'll have all your skins and stuff. And yeah, enjoy Fortnite on your console. I mean, on your iPad and, I and iPhone. Like I said, it works on Android, works on iOS, works on any device. So yeah, see ya.